Hello everyone, it's Julie with Vancouver Island Regional Library. I'm here at our Nanaimo North Branch today to do a baby time with you. I'm so glad you could join us. So um, today I thought we could do a baby time all about opposites because uh, there's so much fun to do. So many action songs around opposites and um, so many different pairs of opposites we can do. Of course, you know, if, if, if you've got a young baby, they're not going to understand the opposites quite yet, um, but it forms kind of a good foundation for as they get older and when they're toddlers and preschoolers, um, they'll be able to kind of anticipate what comes after fast in terms of opposite and what comes uh, after loud in terms of opposite and all that. So it's, it's never too early to try some opposite songs, especially when they're so much fun. So why don't we start with Roly Poly? Um, and this one, if you've got your baby, yeah, I got my baby teddy bear here. There we go. If you've got your baby, what we're going to do for this one is we're going to roll their little hands. All right, and it goes like this: Roly poly, roly poly, up, 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 up. Roly roly poly, roly roly poly, down, down, down down, 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 roly poly, roly poly, out, 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 roly roly poly, roly roly poly, in, 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 roly poly, roly poly, fast, 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 Roly, roly, poly, roly, roly, poly, slow, 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 slow. Yeah, so that's one of my favorite ones, um, especially when we're doing a baby time live here and when we get to the fast, fast, fast part, uh, the smiles on all the babies' faces uh, is wonderful to see. Um, so hopefully we got some smiles at home at your houses. All right, so that was roly, poly. How about we try a little tickle that has to do with opposites? And this is slowly, slowly, very slowly. Um, so for this one, we're going to start on baby's little hands, kind of going slowly, kind of just a little tickle feeling as we go slowly around their hands. And then later, uh, when we get to the little mouse in this song, we're going to go faster. So it goes like this. Slowly, slowly, very slowly creeps the garden snail. Slowly, slowly, very slowly up the garden trail. Quickly, quickly, very quickly runs the little mouse. Quickly, quickly, very quickly up into his house. <laughs> I'm going to try that maybe with the other hand. Here we go. Slowly, slowly, very slowly creeps the garden snail. Slowly, slowly, very slowly up the garden trail. <gasps> quickly, quickly, very quickly runs the little mouse. Quickly, quickly, very quickly up into his house. <laughs> Fantastic, everyone. Fantastic. All right. Okay, how about we try a little bounce? We'll do the Grand Old Duke of York. So for this one, um, you probably want baby sat on your knee so you can bounce them a little bit um, and, you know, face them this way or this way, whatever you and your baby prefer, uh, you can do that. If you've got a really young baby who maybe um, doesn't like bounces or isn't ready for bounces yet, then you could just do it using their gently, kind of using their little hands or even just lay down and using their little hands. Whatever works for you. So it goes like this. The grand old Duke of York, he had 10,000 men. He marched them up to the top of the hill and he marched them down again. And when they were up, they were up. And when they were down, they were down. And when they were only halfway up, they were neither up nor down. All right. Should we try it again? This time I'll do it just with hands. The Grand Old Duke of York, he had 10,000 men. He marched them up to the top of the hill and he marched them down again. And when they were up, they were up. And when they were down, they were down. And when they were only halfway up, they were neither up nor down. 
There we go. So a good one for up and down in that one. Lots of up and downs in that one, including some lifts, um, which is great. Very good. Very good. Okay, so I brought my scarves with me today, my activity scarves. And I'm going to do a couple of opposite songs um, with my activity scarves. So if you have activity scarves at home, you could bring those out for this song in the next one. Or if you have, um, let's say, dish towels or uh, burp cloths, just anything you have that you can kind of, that's maybe a bit colorful and you can move around, um, you're welcome to join in at home for sure. Okay. So the first one I'll do with my activity scarves is if you're happy and you know it. And we'll just change the words a bit from the usual version so that it's got some opposites in it. So it goes like this. If you're happy and you know it, shake your scarves. If you're happy and you know it, shake your scarves. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, shake your scarves. If you're happy and you know it, shake them fast. If you're happy and you know it, shake them fast. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, shake them fast. If you're happy and you know it, shake them slow. If you're happy and you know it, shake them slow. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, shake them slow. If you're happy and you know it, shake them high. If you're happy and you know it, shake them high. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, shake them high. If you're happy and you know it, shake them low. If you're happy and you know it, shake them low. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, shake them low. There we go. So that's a fun one to do. Yeah, with some activity scarves or something like that. The other one I like to do with the activity scarves, and I think we've done this a couple times before, is um, two little black birds sitting on a wall. So for this one, we can hold our scarves so that they look a bit like birds flying around. And we'll do two little black birds sitting on a wall. So it goes like this. Two little black birds sitting on a wall. One called Peter, one called Paul. Fly away, Peter. Fly away, Paul. <gasps> Come back, Peter. Come back, Paul. And that, I think, is the verse that most people are familiar with. Um, but you can also do quite a few other verses um, using different opposites. So let's try, we'll try sitting on a stick to start with. And then our opposites are going to be slow and quick. It goes like this. Two little black birds sitting on a stick. One called slow, one called quick. Fly away slow, fly away quick. Come back slow, come back quick. <laughs> That's how that one goes. And then they could be sitting on a cloud, in which case we could do quiet and loud as our opposites. Two little black birds sitting on a cloud. One called quiet, one called loud. Fly away quiet, fly away loud. Come back quiet, come back cloud, loud. <laughs> like that. Um, you could also do sitting on a lily, in which case you could do serious and silly. Two little black birds sitting on a lily. One called serious, one called silly. <laughs> fly away serious, fly away silly. <laughs> Come back serious. Come back silly. <laughs> Yeah, so 
fun one to do and you can add other opposites too if you can think of a word that rhymes with them. Um, so it really is one that you can make your own. So a lot of fun for sure. All right. Well, those were the opposite songs that I had to share with you today. Uh, so maybe we'll do our goodbye song now. Maybe my little baby bear would like to shake a scarf goodbye. Here we go. Bye bye babies. Bye bye babies. Bye bye babies. We'll see you all next time. Fantastic. Thanks so much for coming, everybody. See you next time. Bye.